feel free to start whenever. Okay, um, so that's the injections that you're gonna be giving. They're gonna be frozen, so you gotta keep them in the freezer at home. When you take them out, just keep them in your hand until they're completely melted. Have a look at the little amount of fluid that's inside there after you've melted it. You want it to not look murky. You don't want any like little uh, ice cube that's sat in the middle of it. So make sure it's completely melted. Give it a couple of flicks like that. It'll stir it around a little. Um, also helps to get rid of some of the bubbles. Once you've done that, just get it to the point where you're gonna be giving the injection. So in this case, we're just there. Take off the lid to the needle. Make sure your needle is nicely attached so you can apply a little bit of firm pressure there. Um, probably safer to do this before taking the lid off, but um, just making sure that that's nicely uh, pointed down there. So when we're giving this injection, it can go under the skin or into the muscle. So we, when we're giving it, regardless of uh, whether you're giving it under skin or into muscle, we want to be in the front half of the bearded dragon. You don't want to go back half or back legs or anything like that. Always stick above the sort of waistband there upwards. So if we're going to be going into the muscle, um, we're going to go in that area on the back of the front leg, um, what would be equivalent to your uh, triceps on the back of your arm there. Um, other areas that you can give it, you can go under the skin there too, um, so just staying shallower, or you can go under the skin around the, the shoulders and back. Um, so regardless of which one you want to do, probably the, the arm's a little easier. Um, if you're going to do the, the area on the back here, um, you do have to tent the skin up a little bit. Um, when you're giving the injection, Probably the most important thing is to keep the, the needle as close to parallel with the skin surface. Um, you don't want to be angling the needle towards uh, the, the dragon because if he decides to jump and, and bump towards the needle, you could potentially do some damage if he flung himself into that needle. Whereas if you're staying in line with the body, it's very unlikely that he's going to bounce and end up hurting himself on that needle. Okay, so when we're going in, Try to keep your needle, you'll see the, the little slant on that needle. Try and keep that pointed slightly up. And then you're gonna go in between the scales. So don't go through a scale, find a point in between the scales. And then just nice and easy. It's gonna sting a bit, so we put that in there. Pull back on the needle, make sure that there's no blood coming back in there. Make sure that there's no air bubbles coming back in there. And then inject. And come out, put a little bit of pressure on that area to stop the medication coming back out. Hold it for a few seconds. And then we're done.